You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. So funny story, speaking of uh, writing writing drum parts. So I went uh, to a rehab when I was 16. My parents sent me to an inpatient rehab called Rosecrans in Rockford. Yes. Yeah, Rockford, Illinois. So the way that song, Rosecrans, is track one of our very first album, for those who don't know. And the old name of the band, right? Yes, it was also the old name of the band and inspired by my situation Mm -hmm. i guess so it was inpatient i was there for about a month and they had group therapy each day so we would all sit in a circle we would have notepads and we would talk so during group therapy i would actually just i was writing a drum part and i ended up writing the drum part to rosecrans like mainly it was mainly the the break that just it makes no sense it's the part that's like you know that part yeah that's just like a tongue twister in any instrument so i i wrote that drum part kind of just for fun because i was like oh i'm gonna go home and record this and just see it happens like it's kind of ridiculous but why not i'm bored this would be fun kind of thing uh and then i end up they let me have an acoustic guitar in the room so I wrote most of the guitar parts for Rosecrans uh, at Rosecrans. So it was a that's v- crazy. So yeah, by the time I was just, I had a lot to look forward to getting out of there. Dude, you realize that's like your, that's like your your hip hop mixtape. That's hard as hell. Dude. Yeah, that's like that's like your hip hop mixtape. Like you wrote this album in jail. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And named it after the yeah. place that you were at. That's if that's it, that's if like it your was, it's your mixtape origin story. Yeah, if it, if it was jail, maybe that would have been <laughs> know, hard. I but well, I mean, for uh, where you're from, Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like for a white right. kid from Chicago, pretty, you know what I mean? It's pretty hard. Pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I love it. So yeah, that's uh, I thought that's an interesting story. Most people don't don't know that. Yeah. Um, but where did the name for Boo come from? I don't even think I know that. Oh, that's a great. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. So, uh, naturally, Sumerian records, being Sumerian representing ancient Egyptian mm-hmm. culture. So the Osiris part came from. We were with um, Ash Abelson and at the time Sean Keith, who was working at Sumerian, and uh, we were. Just we were just hanging out. I think this was during the time we were actually recording our first album because they they looked at us and like our name the band name was Rosecrans at the time and they're like, you gotta change that name. <laughs> we're, like, <laughs> we're gonna we gotta get rid of that name, brother. We listen. Yeah. We like what you're doing, but uh, the name's gotta go. And we were like, well, I was I was like at first I was like, no, what do you mean? We can't change the name. We have so many fans at home. Like no one's gonna know who we are. And they're like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, listen, after the this... Name, the name sucks, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. They're like, listen, first of all, the name sucks. And uh, second of all, after after you put out this album, and you do, you know, you, you go on tour, your old name's not going to matter. And I... It was tough for me. I didn't want to change the name, but um, looking back on it, the name sucks. It, it really does. Dude, uh, I feel that. Ro- Rosecrans is not a good name. And uh, I'm just so grateful to me, the, the band name Born of Osiris, not to toot my own horn but i think it's it's an iconic band name it is it just is that's why i was like i don't even think i know the origin of it because it just is it's one of those band names that just is right you don't you don't ask about it so we were we uh so i i want to take some credit for my band and i so the 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 label sumerian came up with the osiris part and then we were spitballing we're like well what osiris we're like sons of osiris we're like Mm -hmm. that's tacky and then you know somebody was like born in Osiris. We're like, kind of sick. All right. Okay. Let's yeah. r- let's let's run it. Coming up with the band name also one of uh, something that people don't realize. Oh, the worst. Sucks ass. Oh my god. It sucks ass. It's it's actually worse than coming up with song titles, which is terrible. Yeah. Coming up. With, I taken. just had to do that. It's all it, taken. Yeah. It's all taken. Had we we that. just put out a song called Elevate. You know how many people have a song <laughs> called Elevate? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's a good like, song. Thank you. Yeah, to go check it out. Still releasing consistent yeah, yeah. bangers yeah. constantly. Well, oh yeah, by the way, it's we, all you know how to do. By the way, we did just put out a new song called Elevate and it, it rocks. So, we're going to play it tonight. Oh, can't and wait. We actually just put out another new song called A Mind Short Circuiting and that's cool too. So, 